Hello cooking enthusiasts. Today we're gonna make a puff pastry recipe, a savory one. I'm using some chicken, some spinach, and some mushrooms. So come along with me and let's get started. All right, so here I just have a cup of baked chicken that I pulled off the bone. Here I have some baby bellas. This is about eight ounces of um, baby bella mushrooms. I'm just chopping three green onions here. This is just um, about a teaspoon of fresh sage. So I just put two tablespoons of butter in the pan, added in the mushrooms, the green onion, and the sage. I'm just gonna cook this down for a bit. All right, and then I'm just gonna add about a half teaspoon of thyme. So we have everything in the pan now, the mushrooms, the um, sage, green onions, the herbs, they're great aromatics, um, really smells up the kitchen, makes it smell really nice. And so we're just cooking this down, and at which point we're gonna add the spinach and just wilt that and then add the chicken. All right, and to this, I'm just gonna add a couple of handfuls of baby spinach. It looks like a lot at first, but this wilts down, so don't be nervous when you see a whole bunch of spinach in the pan. I'm also gonna add about a teaspoon of capers. I love the taste of capers, and they add a little bit of brininess to the dish and make it taste really good. And also, just about a half teaspoon of better than bouillon. This is just a vegetable, the vegetable base. All right, so I've added about a cup of chicken um, to the spinach. It's now wilted. And to this, I'm just going to add about a tablespoon of Greek yogurt. You know, again, you don't want much liquid in this because this is going to bake in the puff pastry and you don't want your pastry to be soggy. I also added another tablespoon of yogurt. So there's two tablespoons of yogurt total. And that is the filling. So that's everything that's in there. Um, it's going to go into the filling. This is a great time to try and test it uh, or taste it. You always want to taste as you're going. Um, that way you know if you need to adjust anything. Truly, you could just put your filling in the middle without doing what I'm going to do here. But I'm going to just cut this in slices so that I can kind of braid it over the top. But of course, you're only doing it up to the part where you're going to put the filling in. All right, and to this filling, um, I did add three cloves of garlic that I crushed and I cooked it for another minute. Now we're just going to be setting it here in the middle. With different pa puff pastries, um, they are they do vary in size. And so depending on your, the size of your puff pastry, it will depend on how, how much filling you can put in there. Over top, I'm just gonna add some cheddar and gruyere cheese. Maybe about a quarter cup of this. Parmigiano Reggiano, um, I grated as well. Now we're just gonna fold this. All right, and for an egg wash, I just have a teaspoon of water in the egg. I'm just gonna beat this together really quick. Okay, now it's ready for the oven. All right, we have the finished product here. So now it's just ready to go in the oven. Um, again, 25 to 30 minutes at 425. All right, so it should be done. Let's go ahead and pull this out of the oven. So I just wanted to um, go over a little bit of stuff you can use with puff pastry. So this I did fill with chicken, with mushrooms and spinach, and a little bit of garlic. Um, however, you can do all sorts of toppings. So like, I mean, you could do ground beef or, or steak um, with potatoes or, um, um, things like chicken and asparagus, like really whatever type of vegetables or meat you like, you could fill these with. Um, they're very versatile though. Experiment with all sorts of different things until you find something that you like. As always, like, subscribe down below, and um, we'll continue um, bringing these videos to you. And I enjoy cooking um, as much as I hope you like watching these videos. Again, with, with your continued patronage, we'll keep putting them out. Talk to you soon, later.